Hey, good morning, everybody. Today's August the 14th of 2022. And I wanted to come and share a couple dreams with you I had. And um, I believe that these are warning dreams, but there's also hope, okay, that is attached uh, through prayer, all right, because prayer is a powerful weapon. And um, let me just start with this first dream. I saw a woman. She had short blonde hair. Now, I do not know this woman in real life, but she had short blonde hair, and she had a teenage son. And she was very, very upset because the teenage son would come to the dinner table, and he was holding a knife. Um, he's holding a knife. And she was very upset about that. She came to tell me. And I told her, I said, don't you worry. I said, I'm going to pray about this for you. I'm going to pray for you for this. Okay. And I was just talking to um, a brother in Christ, Justin, about this. And um, he is seeing that, um, that the woman, she represents like the body of Christ. And the, the child is also. The child is also. But he's a child. He's not an adult. He's a child. The fact that he was bringing this knife to the table, um, this is a spiritual thing, which could actually pour over into a physical thing, okay? So the children are being contaminated spiritually. They are being um, damaged. They are being hurt, okay? They're being given these things that are, that are going to cause them harm for themselves. Through, you know, you, you've, what have you allowed your children to partake of? Okay. What are you allowing your children to watch on TV or to read in books or what games playing uh, on the, you know, their little gaming stations? Um, what are you allowing into your child's life that is actually arming them with a dangerous weapon? A dangerous weapon. One that, that will spiritually kill them. Or could literally follow fall off into a physical thing. You hear Rudy? That's Rudy the rooster. You hear him? He just is wanting to talk. Okay, please overlook him. I just tried to make him be quiet, but he's not having that. Um, so these children are being equipped with a dangerous weapon that can spiritually kill them. Or can actually also pour over into the physical realm. Okay? Where they could literally start physically hurting other people as well. Okay? And this is a spirit that is coming into this. Uh, a spirit is being invited. A door has been opened to the spiritual realm. Not the kingdom of God, but the kingdom of the devil. Okay? And they, they are being, the door is being opened. And the, these things are being allowed to come in. And affect the children. Because this video is about the children. It's not about the adults. Okay? So, um, it's a spiritual attack on the children. Now, the devil, he's the one who made up all of this stuff, right? He's made up the technology with the gamings and the movies and the songs and everything else that could totally corrupt, and corrupt our spirit and to corrupt our mindset and our heart. He did that, okay? Now, it's the parent's responsibility to make sure that you keep those doors shut. You're the parent. You're the one who is responsible. Uh, you're the gatekeeper, so to speak. Okay? You are the gatekeeper. Now, because that child has been given to you as a gift from God. Okay? So you're to take care of, of the child. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell another dream. Uh, this particular person I do know. And I've already gone to this person. And we've I've already given her the warning. And I've already prayed with her. Okay, now, um, this dream I had a, a little while back, and um, there's this person that I know, a sister in Christ. Now, okay, her child, it was her young child, not a little tiny kid, but like just a younger child, a child that had did not have a driver's license, did not have a license, was not even old enough to have a driver's license. However, the child acqu acquired the family car, and this child was taking the car, and was just just smashing into stuff, smashing into buildings and 
and and post and telephone poles and all kinds of stuff and it wasn't just creating a little fender bender or a little dent i mean he was demolishing things just demolishing and smashing and just the buildings were smashed and the houses were smashed and the the, the telephone pole was smashed and those kinds of things whatever he was hitting with the car he was do, basically destroying it okay and so I'm sitting here watching this. I'm, I'm, I'm in the dream and I am watching. I see her and I, I see her. She's watching her child do this thing. Now, she's just standing there watching him do this. So that was all there was to the dream. So I knew when I woke up, I was to, I was to uh, get in contact with this person and I would give them this warning dream that this thing is happening. And I said, but I didn't just call to, to give you this warning. You and I are going to pray against this. And that's what we did. We prayed against that. Now, she, this person has told me that, um, you know, she gets in arguments with uh, the other parent, the, the husband, the, the father, because he allows things to happen. He allows things to happen. Um, that gives the children permission to do things or to watch things. You know, they're being allowed to be able to partake in things that they should not partake in, whether it be movies or games. I'm not sure of all the details, but I just do know about the movies. She, you know, she's told me specifically about that, right? So when that happens, the door is being let open and a dangerous weapon is being put inside your child's hands. Okay. Now this particular child with the car there were serious consequences. Serious, serious consequences are going to come if this weapon is not removed from this child's hand. Now, so I've called this person. We've talked about it. We've discussed it. We've prayed against it. Okay? Now, with the first dream, that was very pronounced to me. I said to her specifically, I said, don't worry. I said, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray with you with this. I'm going to pray for you. Okay? So it's the power of prayer. Prayer is very powerful. And as a parent, um, it's your responsibility to be the gatekeeper of that door. Now, if you're in a, this, this, uh, if, if you have a, if there's a husband and a wife, a mom and a dad in the family, and let's just say the husband's dropping the ball, then mom, you better step up. You better not just stand there and watch what your kid's doing. You better step up. And if the, no matter what, no matter if it causes a fight, no matter what happens, you can't just stand there and watch your your kid do that you have to step in and you have to stop it at all costs at all costs that is your job as being the gatekeeper in your family as a parent you both are to do that thing now um don't open don't allow any doors to be open all i can tell you is that right now more so than ever okay it's been always a, like a subtle thing it's really been subtle like even starting from when I, i'm 54 years old growing up the little video games there was, it was this little game, this link, little tiny console, say, I, I can't remember if Sega, I can't remember what it was. It had little, what was it called? Asteroids, Centipede, you know, those little ping pong game, you know, that's the kind of games it was, right? Little, like, dee, 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 dee little things. We'd play that. And, um, so it, it started off real subtle, but throughout the decades, the subtleness is gone now. It's straight in your face wickedness. Wickedness. And people are partaking of it. They're allowing their children to partake of it, thinking, oh, it's just a movie. Oh, it's just a song. Oh, it's just a game. It can't hurt anything. No. What you're literally doing is you're opening the door and al allowing your child to acquire a dangerous weapon in their hands. The devil is literally putting dangerous weapons in your children's hands. If you are not... If you're not holding these doors shut, okay? And I'm just telling you, if you've been given a child, be a good steward. Be a good steward and raise your children in the way they should go. Is it easy? No. Nobody ever said it was easy. It's not easy. I am so, my, I am so glad that I do not have little children in this day and age. I am so glad of that, okay? I'm very blessed that mine are grown men now. I mean... I can't even imagine having a little kid with all the horrific uh, things that are at everybody's fingertips now to partake of as little children. Okay? Don't give up. 
And if you, if something's going on in your life, if something's going on in your family with your kids or whatnot, you got to pray against it. You have to pray against it. And if that means you call somebody, call your friend, call somebody, y'all pray together. Because where two or more are gathered together, Jesus is there, okay, in the midst, okay? So it, prayer is so powerful. And that's one of the things, okay, my uh, brother in Christ, Justin, he just had a dream the other day. And, and it was something, and in the dream, uh, he, we, he specifically said, he got, he got with me, and specifically in the dream, we were going to pray against it. And so when he, in real life, he called me, and we, we, we literally did that. We literally came together, and we prayed against that entire thing in real life. Because it's not symbolic. This prayer is a powerful, powerful tool. It's a powerful weapon, Okay. So in the dream with the little, with the, with the boy, with the knife, I was telling the mother, I'm going to pray against that. Don't worry. I'm going to pray. So that's just showing you the power. We can defeat this thing. Let's pray. Let's keep praying for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay. And let's just don't get tired of praying. Pray without ceasing. That's what the Bible says. All right. And just stand strong and, uh, let's just keep fighting this good fight. God will give us the strength, the perseverance and endurance to keep on doing this. And um, let's not in fight with each other, please. Uh, if you're going through a hard time, then, you know, you know, just talk to the Lord about it. Allow the Lord to give you the peace that passes all comprehensions, okay? Let's try not to let whatever we're going through spill out onto other people or onto other people's lives or anything like that, okay? Let's just, let's just all take everything that we have. The good and the bad. Take it all to the Lord. Give praise and thanksgiving. And when things are really rough, just pray to God. Because He wants to deliver you from everything. Okay? And He can. It's the power of prayer. Through His Son, Jesus Christ. Alright? So God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your animals on this day. Goodbye.